My ambition for our education system is simple. When you visit a school in England, standards are so high all round that you simply cannot tell whether it is a state school or an independent fee-paying school. Michael Gove has been accused of constant revolution, but he says he just wants the best for all. The Education Secretary's latest proposals include a state version of the common entrance exam for 13-year-olds. Longer school days and more extracurricular activities, from sport to the arts. And he says we should return to old school discipline with more detentions, writing out lines. Teachers need confidence that they will be supported whenever they insist on good behaviour. Heads need to know that we will give them every tool they need to enforce discipline. So today we are publishing an updated version of the department's advice on behaviour policy. Sounds like common sense and sounds pretty familiar to head teachers like Serge Safai, who's done so well at one inner city school, he's now in charge of two. What's your reaction to that? Well, this is hardly reformist. We do pretty much 95% of everything Mr Gove was talking about in both my schools. There's some fantastic schools doing some brilliant work. Uh, I've got children in inner city schools getting offers for Oxford and Cambridge. Our children prove every day they're as good as anybody else when given the chance. And here at St Thomas the Apostle, it all started with discipline. When we were in year seven, there was a lot of things that weren't in place that there are now. Um, six o'clock detention all throughout the week, Friday detentions or Saturday detentions. The results speak for themselves, a 31% rise in the top grades in one year. I, I take both my staff and I'd stick them in, in any school and I'd challenge any independent sector staff to do half as well as my lot would do. Everyone wants the best, question is how you get it. And for many, what the politicians say is academic. Simon Viger, Channel 5 News.